up though Pride Nation Welcome back to another episode of Luke G's Fear Review um, As you can see We gonna be talking about a rookie Who I think is the next Up and coming star Man He has only played a few snaps Very limited snaps But in those snaps I am seeing something That most football people Should be excited about um, I know that there's not a lot to talk about positive when it comes to this team, but this might be one of those those picks um, that we look at and say Bob Quinn hit on. He can easily be the uh, Kenny Galladay of defensive picks for us. Um, so we're going to get right into it and look at um, what he brings to the table and what I saw in these first couple of snaps. Um, so right out the gate, Let's take a look at him. As you can see, he's marked with an arrow right here. And I just want you to pay attention because from this angle, you're not going to really see it. So you, it looks like he gets washed, right? It looks like he just get washed up in all of this, right? But as you pay more attention to it, look how he just, oh my God, listen. So you, you probably still didn't see it. Let's go to a different angle and see what now it looks from like. From this angle, you can see exactly where he's at. Uh, I've marked it with an arrow. Don't you laugh at my art, people. All right? But you can see exactly where he's at. Now, he's going up. That's rookie to rookie. That's Cesar Ruiz. Rookie to rookie. Watch how he owns this, this guy. Watch this. Now, you may be saying, oh, Cesar's got the push. Watch this. That's an anchor. Watch this beautifulness. Ooh. Did you see him just get rid of this guy and reach out and touch somebody? Dude, this guy right here needs to get so much more uh, press in what he's getting. These, these, This is a good one. We're going to look at some more snaps. The thing I want you to see is right here, I want you to see first thing. This is classic bag drill. Like, if, if anybody ever did the sled where you have to hit it, push it in to lift it up. You have to hit it, push it in to lift it up. And if you look, he pushed it in and he's lifting them up. Now, this angle, to me, it jumped out, but I'll try to get it a little bit closer so you can see. Now, mind you, this is a guy who's playing in very limited snaps. So right here, you can see he's clearly in, in, his, in his game. Look at this. Look at the arm extension. Look how his back is bent. Look how he's looking. Pay attention, people. See that right there? He's looking at the play. Now, I want you to see how when the running back over here, he shifts this dude over here because he's looking. Now what he's going to do is get in there and get a hand on him to bring the player down and make a play. Boy, y'all don't understand what this dude is bringing to the team. Again, people, I know y'all probably saying to yourselves that, you know, Luke, what are, what are we supposed to be seeing? I'm just showing you this guy had limited snaps and I really think he should be getting more snaps. Um, and the reason I say that is because I think this is a guy that can play in a 3-4. He can play in a 4-3. You can put him at the end. You can put him at the tackle. He's going to, this thing called 101, you don't want these problems with him. Okay? You don't want these problems with him. Um, so right here, again, that sled drill, got him up, boom. Boy, let's get into a better angle. Let's get into a better angle because I think that'll, that'll help y'all appreciate his, his craft a little bit better. So right here, we just we just paying respects to what he's doing, people. We're just giving him some love and, and showing that that, that this guy is a, is a stud. Now, right here, he's already getting him pressed over to the fullback. Again, he's looking. Now, notice that he keeps that hand free. Look at the running back. The thing that you're going to probably miss, and I'm going to go back to show you a little bit better. The thing that you're probably going to miss is this right here. Once he pressed this guy into that fullback, right? Once he pressed him into this, this changes his direction. So once he presses him into this gap, the running back sees the fullback go here. He knows that he got this linebacker, which is Jared Davis, got to get with this blocker. He understands that. So the running back now says, oh, okay, he's already getting off of his guy coming off. All right. He's coming down to meet the fullback. I don't want to make it a one-on-one -on -one tunnel thing with him, but I got a blocker here. But that dude, Penny says, 
not on my watch. Reach out. You understand what I'm saying? Reach out and touch somebody. Just touch somebody. You ain't got to do much. Um, just reach out and touch them. And when he does it, what I want you to see is this stops the whole entire play. This is what we call football this, people. Play. I, you know, this is one of them plays where, to me, this is just, this, this is one of the best attributes when it comes to this guy. Um, as you can see right now, the arrows on him. Watch this right here, people. The recognition. He automatically see that they're down blocking. So if you're not sure what a down block is, that's where these guys all try to push down to block, right? So he can kind of have a cutback night. But but let's just go ahead and look. Now, as he's doing, as he's going with the blocks, he starts to realize that, okay, there ain't nothing to talk about. Let me just get in there and keep going. His motor for wanting to play is not normal, people. It's not normal. Watch as they down block on him and watch how he responds to this down block. Watch how he decides to make his decisions quick. I don't even really think that block can count per se. For some offensive people, they would say that's good. But to me as a defensive person, look how he's able to get rid of the dude by just saying walk on by. See, now when you when this guy is not in a good position to lock on and block him, he takes one arm and slide him over to the left. Just get out of my way. Now look what look at what the running back is seeing. Penicini, Trey Flowers. Look at the decisions that he's seeing. Like this is the reality of what Penicini is bringing to the Detroit. Um, now, this one is by far, I, I believe, my favorite play from him because there is no substitution. I remember the Lions picked up uh, uh, Kyle Vanderbosch. And all you heard from him was, he has a motor, he has a motor, he has a motor. And what you're going to see right here is a guy who has a motor. So when we go to this angle right here, you're going to see that he doesn't quite get home. You're going to see him come up. But the thing I want you to see is this. He's working the hell out of that damn devil team. You hear me? The fact that he's getting pushed with this devil team. Caesar got one hand over here trying to figure out, trying to help the center. And he's working the hell out of him. Now, this is my favorite part. He realizes that, okay, I've pushed the pocket back. Okay? I've pushed the pocket back. And I'm just trying to show y'all this level of, of power that he's showing. But now he gets a hand up. You see this? You see this thing right here? That's a hand up. That's the, that's the getting away of the quarterback. The quarterback sees that and goes to that last read, that underneath route. All right. Now. Clearly, Collins is on, is on it. He's, he's on it. Watch what he do with his one-on-one -on -one and his effort. Watch this. I want that. Then he gets up all hype. Look at this. Boy, let me, listen, let's keep going. We only got a little bit more. I just want to show you that this may be the pick that we look at as the defensive version of Kenny G. Meaning somebody that, that, that they took in the later rounds and we was like, okay. Mm -hmm. This may be a hit, people. So, you know, when you're looking at it, I want you to keep in mind that I want to show you what he's bringing to the table. Now, again, I keep talking about that sled drill, being able to get him up. Now, right here, I'm going to call this one a, a, a push. In other words, he didn't get a lot of push on it. He didn't get pushed back. But watch this. You didn't see it? All right, don't worry about it. Let me bring it a little bit closer because I want you to be able to see life, all right? Let me get it a little bit closer. So, right here is where we're going to focus on. I told you one-on-ones, you don't want no problems. Not too much of a push. But what he does is, y'all didn't see that, did y'all? Let me show y'all. You see he over here? I want y'all to focus on this for a moment. Bring it all in. Bring it in all the juices, all right? You see he over here, right? This is where he's at. He's already seeing the running back and deciding to go this way. Um, okay. I can fix that. And now he's over here. Boy, y'all listen. Y'all bring it all in. Suck it up. This is what you want from your defensive lineman, okay? To be able to control the blocker and pick their poison. 
He was on the other side of this guy's body, shifted the guy to the other side, gets in there, and makes the play. Y'all don't understand. Let me break that back a little bit. I want y'all to see this in I want y'all to see this in a more of a, a real time. People, um, he hasn't had many snaps. I'm just gonna be honest. He hasn't had many snaps. Um, he has not uh really uh, been in a position uh, to get a lot of snaps. But here's what I can tell you about John Penicini, okay? Um, I can tell you that if you get him on the field more, you're going to be happy, okay? If you give him more reps, you're going to be happy. I can tell you that John Penicini, a guy who's not even really getting opportunity is making the most of all of those opportunities, okay? He's not only able to uh, set himself up uh, in a way where um, he's going to make the play, he's setting himself up for the guys behind him to make the play. He's setting himself up to, to make a name for himself. If Detroit decides to be stupid enough to let this guy go, I promise you, the team he latched on to, he will make himself a name, okay? There are certain things that you can see from a player that puts him in a different grand. Now, he has not started not one game. He's played in four. He's played in four, but has not started one game. He's only took about 25% of the snaps on defense, which is about a total of 68 total snaps. But I can assure you that in that little bit of time, in that little bit of time, he got six total tackles, Obviously, one solo, five assists, one tackle, four loss. But what I want you to see is he's able to move the pocket and dictate the blocker. I just had to show y'all this, people. Um, so y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think John Penicini after the first quarter of the season is looking like he's a, a up and coming star? Or do you see something a little bit different? Y'all let me know. Um, also, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. So that way we can get this video in circulation. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't be no chump. Please, please do your research.